Tech Plus TV is brought to you by Clearbook. Online accounting to free your time. Hi, my name is Heather Taylor, and I am a social media PR manager for GIFGAF. Um, today we had a community club event that was called the Building of Future Communities, and uh, basically it was a big roundtable event. Um, that I brought um, people together from communities that I really trust and love to talk about how we can change the future of communities now. So that was the whole event, it's part of Social Media Week, and we're just trying to get people to change the way they're thinking so that we can really change the way that we use the internet and use online and offline communities. Future, I'd like it to not have this um, separation of uh, whether we're talking about an online community or an offline community, because it's people have, have sort of put us in some little backwater somewhere that it's and whilst everyone's kind of getting the hang of it now the mm. facebook and the family is it still seems that the the geographic communities of the, the town and the city and the village and the country let's be more british and all that sort of stuff is 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 missing the point that all these other things are going on elsewhere and we've got so many ways to be hooked with one another and we don't need each of those communities has its own little label its own little flag to rally around but but it doesn't need that that separation. It's just it is just people being able to communicate with one another. We may have more channels to communicate, maybe able to think more thoughts, maybe able to wave our arms around more online, but it, it's it's connecting people wherever they are and making everywhere local. Hi, my name is Seth Bitternagel. I'm the director of localization for Mozilla Firefox. I'm participating in London Social Media Week. And today I was talking about um, our most recent feature, the Do Not Follow header that we've landed in Firefox 4. And that basically enables users to uh, tick a setting that if yeah. websites begin to abide by it, uh, will allow users to not be tracked by advertising uh, websites and therefore then be sent you know, sort of specific advertising data to the sites to be tracked. We're all part of different communities. <coughs> Is, you know, we, we have to sort of subscribe, we sign into the community to be part of it. And we sort of have to release all this information about ourselves each and every time. And if there's some way that at some point we can start to carry that with us, so actually our identity is tied to us rather than the community, I think that will sort of facilitate this idea of being able to move in between different communities a lot more easily. One of the things that really struck me was actually Jen Stone very early on saying, that he, you know, in a hundred years' time, we were challenged to look at communities in a hundred years' time. Wouldn't it be nice if you know we could be nicer to one another? Why? If people weren't trolling these communities and uh, we're spamming one another. And I think that's a very, very um, pertinent point because I think one of the things that I would like to see in communities generally is an evolution, if you like, of human nature as we get more used to these kind of environments uh, and learn to behave a, a bit more appropriately. It's very difficult because uh, humans are egotistical and social animals, but um, it'd, be, it'd be lovely to see that kind of uh, relationship change. Filtering information overload is a good thing. Um, you know, there's too much stuff out there, I need just what's relevant to me. But the flip side of that is self-selection. So, um, currently, a strange conversation I had with my wife the other day, she gets her news through Facebook. She thinks, she doesn't really go to consult news sources, she thinks that if something's important enough, someone will post it. So that's how she finds out about news. <laughs> Bit of a strange way of thinking about things, but you can see how that would actually happen. You can then see that people confine themselves to their set of friends and the individual communities they're interested in. They don't hear opposing points of view. Right. sort of see this starting to develop in American politics a little bit, but it becomes an echo chamber. People talk to themselves, talk to each other, they get more and more high-pitched, more and more excited. They're not getting a podium point of view, they're not getting a broad-based view of what's actually going on. So I think aspiration for 100 years is, yes, we have communities, yes, people can talk about things they're interested in, but they don't become blinkered and narrow, and they don't become so super focused down a particular path, that they don't get a broader sense of it. Um, I'm Mike Fairman, I'm the CEO of GIFCAF. I'm going to tell you a little bit about how the business started, uh, which was a couple of years ago with an idea uh, that spawned out of Web 2.0. Um, you know, if we can write the world's best encyclopedia, elect presidents um, using communities, then actually why couldn't that apply to the mobile world as well? Um, so that was the nub of the idea, work with your customers in a way that no other mobile company has. Um, so we came up with the idea of mutuality in that working with the community we would reward the good things that, business, that our customers do for us. Um, and actually the name of the business, uh, GIFGAF itself, is an old Scottish word that means to give something and to receive something in return. 
So we started out with that vision, um, and it's actually worked out very well. So uh, by way of example, our members actually do just about half of our customer service um, for us by answering queries from other members. Um, nearly half of our new business in terms of uh, growth uh, in new connections for us uh, come from uh, member get member schemes. Um, and we have something like about 50 ideas coming into uh, the business every week uh, as to how to improve things. All of that goes into um, a scheme called the Payback Scheme um, where our members collect points and then that basically gets converted to cash um, two times a year. So you know, we really truly believe that we are a community-led mobile business um, you know, and sort of stats like that I think help back that up. Tech Club TV is brought to you by Clearbooks, online accounting to free your time.